Well, good afternoon everyone. I um, hope you're all well, hope you're having a great day no matter what you're doing. Um, today I'm hopefully going to finish this Rottweiler portrait that I'm working on just now. This is A2 in size and it is a pencil portrait. And I thought while I'm doing this I would take the opportunity um, to let you guys see how I do fur and hair. Um, it's something that a lot of people do struggle with. Um, they, they fail to get any sort of real detail and they kind of get the feeling that they have to draw every single individual hair to get that kind of realistic look. Um, and it's not the case. You, you don't have to go as far as that. There is a, a quicker and slightly easier way um, to do it. Now, a couple of the tools that you will need, and this is quite an important one, is one of these, which is an electric eraser. Okay, now all this is, is just a, it's got a little eraser piece on the top. These are interchangeable and it just spins like that and what you generally use these for or what I use them for anyway is for detailing um, once I'm getting towards the end of a portrait um, or if I'm kind of halfway through and I'll start to cut details in what this allows you to do is this, this saves you a lot of time um, and then but as opposed to, to drawing every single individual here um, so what I'm going to show you here just now is this area of the neck just here just to let you see how I build it up. Um, now it won't be a, a complete start to finish as such because obviously it takes, takes quite a bit of time to do um, and I don't want to bore you senseless with a, a video that goes on for you know half an hour if not longer. Um, so I'm just going to show you very very quickly. Now for this area here what you'll find on the dog is that the areas down here you will have lighter areas. So the colours that I use are these three here. Now basically you've got a yellow, a sort of very light orange and a darker orange. I'll tell you the exact colours if you, you want. That's cadmium orange, that's chrome yellow and this is cadmium, dark cadmium yellow. And what I tend to do is I will do the whole area with a lighter colour to begin with. And I'll do it very lightly and it's just kind of loose back and forth like that you know this is not this is not sort of doing every individual hair like this it's just very very loose pencil doesn't even have to be that sharp either just to give it some kind of coverage once I've covered that area with the lighter color what I'll then do is just use my finger a, a, a blending stump or whatever I'm, I have just to kind of blend it in, just to smudge it in, just to give a sort of full coverage if that makes sense. Then what I'll do is I'll go in with the next darker colour, which is the chrome yellow, I believe. Yeah, dark chrome yellow. And I'll just do the same, but I'll leave some of the previous colour just showing ever so slightly. And just kind of carry on like that, just as I say, very, very loose like that. Same process again with your darker colours, except your darker colours will tend to work nearer the top. Um, you will have certain sections where it will come right down to the bottom. But again, just follow your reference image and just very loosely just like so. And again, with your black underneath again you're just very loosely going in, as you can see there. And as you'll see, I've already kind of smudged this area in. There's some blue in here as well, because black fur, um, you know, isn't just black. It, it is also has hints of blue and purple in it, and, and even reds in some cases, and, and pretty much every colour in the spectrum, really. Um, but generally speaking, a black fur has a kind of bluey, purpley tinge to it as well. And to get that realistic look, you need to add these blues and purples to it. It will make an, a huge, huge difference with your artwork. So I've put some blue in here as well, just to kind of smudge that in. And again, we'll just go in with a sort of darker strokes. I see these are just very, very loose. This is not all that precise. And once you've loosely got that in, you then start doing your darker areas down the bottom. And this, 
all I'm doing with this is basically exactly the same thing, but I'm just pushing down harder on the pencil. That's all I'm doing, and I'm actually forgetting the cardinal rule. Use a piece of paper so I don't smudge it. This is the area just where the collar is, so I'm slightly darker bits between where the two colours come together and this this does take a bit of practice to get to tell a sort of a level where you can kind of do it on autopilot almost I mean on the first few times you do it you will have to stop every bit so often check what you're doing but once you get into the swing of it it'll become second nature You will even have some dark bits going into the orange there. And at this area here is also black. So you can see where I'm going with that. Now as I said, where this is sitting just now, this isn't where I would normally finish it and then start using my electric eraser. I would actually go a couple of stages further to build up the colours. But I'm going to do is just for, for reference purposes, just to show you guys. Um, and then all you do is, what, what you find is you'll have a kind of high point on the hair, the way that it sits. And that's where your highlight will be. And all you're doing with your electric eraser is taking it and just very loosely come back and forward. Just like that. Cutting some detail into it. And because you've kind of smudged a lot of your colour underneath and filled it, what you're actually doing here is just putting your detail in. And this is a very, very quick way of doing here, adding detail to it. And another thing you'll notice is, I'll just take some of that black off of there. What you can notice is where you've put your yellow in, when you actually start to take that off, just do it very gently, you'll highlight that yellow even more. So what effectively what you'll actually have under here is you're, you'll be taking away the darker colour that's on the top and you'll be left with a, essentially a sort of yellow stain underneath and that will, it's almost like going back over it with a fine yellow pencil to add your highlights in. And that is basically how it's done. Um, as I say, it's not a, a completely descriptive video, it's just very brief to kind of sh give you a rough idea as to how I do it. Um, have a play around with that technique and see how you get on. Um, if you have any problems or any questions, just let me know. Um, as always, just pop your comments down below and I'll do my very best to answer them for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again, guys.